Greetings, YouTubers. It is I, Uncle Eric Scalibur. Sorry I've been gone so long. Job and trying to find a place and whatnot and try to get into IU has been kind of difficult. Any case, um, I'm bringing you a video um, on the latest Transformer figures that have just hit. And I picked some of them up. And I'm talking about Power Core Combiners. Now, I got some serious issues, and I think it's it really all comes down to well, quality control. You see, I picked up the air, the was it Sky Blast and Bombshell or whatever they are, but um, here's the thing: they're not they're just not up to par and up to snuff of what we consider good Transformer figures. And I'm not saying this because I don't like the gimmick. I mean, the gimmick is okay, but the problem of the f of these figures is the fact that they are gimmick formers. And I have yet to see in my life see a true gimmick former work. And what I mean by gimmick former here is a transformer that relies solely on gimmicks. And sadly, these are not an ex these are no exception. The poor quality control and the gimmicks just not working. Let me show you some examples. I have here, I think his name is Sky Blast, but they come with very loose ball joints. This is on both of these the figures that I have. Very loose ball joints at some places. They don't transform very well because pit pieces just don't want to go in the direction that you want you need them to go and having figures like that is well a little disconcerting and really their main focus are these and they don't work so well sorry for the shaky camera i can't find my camera my um and my uh, uh, camera stand, so or my tripod rather, and I can't uh, since I can't find them. I'm doing this with my laptop, and whenever I move the the laptop shakes. But I mean, here's a perfect example. I mean, his leg is completely cocked to the side. It's almost as if it doesn't want to fit, and I can do that, and it will. It will start popping out to the side like that. And you know, if that's your gimmick to have the this little automorph, you should make sure that it works. And it's not just this figure either. The this figure has its own set of problems too, and I'll give you a great example of that. This figure it will not work in the way that you want it to. See, I'm I'm pushing, trying to push this in where it's supposed to go. It doesn't work like that. I actually have to transform it manually like so and then put it in. And then it, see, it doesn't want to stay transformed and this is really discon this is really a uh, concern of mine because you know you would think that if you were trying to sell these as the next line you know you would want them to work and they really just kind of don't granted I mean I kind of bought I kind of bought this figure because I liked this guy and I like I do like the way he looks. They're not bad looking figures in the least, and I'm not trying to make make you guys think twice about buying these if you like the look at them of them, because I like the look. They look cool. It's just that I mean even. Compared to the other Transformer figures as of late, the 
quality control's really been is really shoddy with these. And I don't know if it's just Hasbro getting lazy or if I just happened to pick up two bad figures at the store, but it is a thing of, well, gee, are they bad figures because they're gimmick formers and their gimmick doesn't work, or are they bad figures because they're bad figures? Now, I would like to, I would like to, again, just say that when these figures work, and they seldom do, they're nice and they look cool. And I know there's a lot of fans are, are not liking these figures uh, because they're Power Ranger, essentially. And I understand that. I mean, I would, uh, I was heartbroken to find that Power Core combiners weren't actually going to be combiners. They were going to be, you know, guys with, you know, robots, you know, or vehicle attachments or whatever. But don't let that, you know, stop you from at least looking at these figures. If you have a friend that collects figures as well, and they have these, my suggestion is check them out first. See if they're for you. Because they very well might be. And, yeah, they're not bad figures. Yeah, and again, like I said, transforming them is a real pain in the ass because sometimes they don't want to transform. And you got to use excessive force. And I don't like using excessive force because I don't want to break these things. Because, well, you know, they cost money. <laughs> but I mean, you know, they're not bad looking figures. They're just poorly designed figures. And I honestly feel that these figures should have mm, gone through more testing, I guess, or they should have done a better job with quality control. Now, with that said, am I going to buy the other co the other core combiners that don't come with these little, you know, vehicle sets? Probably, because they look very nice, and hopefully they'll work better. Will I buy the other ones that come out that are, you know, come with the little vehicles? I might, but I am a little wary now because this was a bad buy. And it's not because of the the figure, the, you know, the look of the figure and whatnot. They look nice, but it, again, it's design and quality control. Any case, I hope that you enjoyed this little informative video. I'm Onky, I'm Onky or Excalibur saying, take it easy, guys, and if it's easy, take it twice. Later.